Come on. This isn't right. Balsarin? God, it's good to see a fellow Sigic. You can see me, right? What about him? I hear you. Another improvement. I've been trapped in the synchrocesiac state for I don't know how long. My senses, myself, scattered far and wide. I'm barely aligned enough to communicate. I need an intervention to pull me free. Would you help me? Synchrocistant state? What? I'm out of sync with reality. I need to find a Daedra sage named Irvank, a master of the 11th Force Change. He may be my best hope of escaping the synchrocesia. Maybe my only hope. Will you help me find Irvank? I'll compensate you once I'm whole. I'll help you. The only lead I have is one of Irvank's disciples, Mora, in Windswept Crag. I've been trying to communicate mm -hmm. with him for hours, but I get no response. If you speak on my behalf, we may finally get somewhere. How'd you, how'd you wind up like this? I wanted to study the 11th Force change within this realm of oblivion. You see, Mehrun's Dagon is best known for his power of destruction, but that is merely a portion of his sphere of influence. All of his aspects are rooted in change. The 11th Force? Really? The 11 Forces are only the basis for your entire studies as a Sigic. You should take some time from your practical studies to brush up on your theory. The 11th, most sacred force, is change. So, what does that have to do with your synchrosasia? Everything, really. I underestimated change's currents here in the Deadlands. When I reached out to dip my toes in, I got swept away. Parts of me, anyway. Uh, is that why your body's gone? Among other things. I'm out of sync with this realm, with myself. It seems that I've regained enough alignment to interact with you, but there's no telling how long I'll remain like this. And I'd rather not become dispersed across time and space. What can you tell me about uh, Renovic? He is a well-known sage, though few besides his disciples have ever seen him. Rumors claim he's always in motion, which is fitting. But also makes tracking him down very difficult. Mora may be able to guide us to him, though. Hmm. Do you venture out of Artarian by yourself, then? I wanted to study the 11th Force change within this realm of oblivion. You see, Mehrun's Dagon is best known for his power of destruction. Yep. Really? Yep, yep, yep. We already read that. Okay. Let's go and see if we can find uh, what's going on there. see me and hear you unfortunately i see you brought someone to help offend my other senses too mm -hmm. unbelievable i spent hours trying to get her attention trying to figure out how to communicate with her and she was ignoring me the nerve all right mora your odor precedes you you leaky skin bag at least I could tune out the apparition, but your sweaty, reeking body would test even Lord Dagon's endurance. Well, go on before your overwhelming miasma seeps into everything and drives away the fish. Well, we're trying to find the sage Renvik. Sending you to Master Irving would be a to starting downwind. I would inflict your odious odor on my worst enemy, let alone a Daedra of his esteem. Whatever your troubles, they'll be over soon. Your smelly existences are mercifully brief. What will convince you to tell us where, you, where Master Renovic is? I just want to fish without your fetid meat musk burning my nose. You can go pick apocalypse seeds from an end times ash tree for all I care. Actually, that's perfect. Go get me a seed. I think there's one out in those burning wastes. You want a seed? I want you to go away. But some shade would be nice. Wait, stop that. I don't need to explain anything to you, Thought Wisp. <laughs> Blow away and vanish like the leaves of an end time ash. So you're fishing? <laughs> you must be utterly baffled by the concept. Just sitting and waiting for something to occur with patience. As quickly as you expire, the mere idea must appear ludicrous. How utterly pathetic. Mortal's fish too, you know. 
They do? Oh my, that somehow makes it even worse. There went the last vestiges of pity I held for you worthless creatures. Alas, I'll never be as cruel as whoever conceived of you reeking all the bags. What kind of fish are you trying to catch in the lava? Oh, I really couldn't say. Why don't you take a dip and see for yourself? What do you have against us? What do you have against you? You mortals are like an irritating itch. They're long enough to be a nuisance, but nothing of any lasting consequence. <sighs> the pointlessness of your existence offends me. Why any Daedra have an interest in you is beyond me. Mm. I'm sorry you had to endure that, but considering most Daedra's temperaments, Mora's caustic personality isn't so bad. I think we might be able to make some headway with her. How so? I've observed her for some time now, while trying to make contact. I think she's dissatisfied by more than just our presence. There's something more to this apocalypse seed business than she's willing to admit. It might help persuade her. Where can we get one? Mora mentioned end times ash trees. I vaguely recall some trivial details from my travel preparations. I think I can identify one of those trees when I see it. My present condition should actually make the search easier. I'll scout ahead. Meet you there. Da, 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 da. Here, this is the specimen we're looking for. Well, in a manner of speaking. Mm hmm, okay. This is an end times ash tree, but it appears to be like most things in the Deadlands dead. All is not lost, though. I remember that these trees have a particularly volatile life cycle. Growth, destruction, regrowth. It just needs a nudge. What do you need? What do I need to do? If we want a seed, we need it to sprout. That's impossible while it's dead. But I think we can encourage it to change if we provide it with the right catalysts. I'll try conjuring some elements. If I can manage that, you can apply them to the tree. You can't do it to yourself then? I am still tenuously connected to this realm. I'm not even sure I'll be able to muster simple conjurations. But you and I are still relatively in phase. If all goes well, you can act as an intermediary and effect change on my behalf. All right, let's give it a try. Phew, the synchrocesia, it's... Ourselves. You'll need to try something else. Flame? Cleansing fire. That's a good start. Water destroy the flame. New life breaking through the quenched flames. It's gone again. Yep. Somehow our meddling with the end times ash affected my asynchronous state. I was fully aligned with myself again, if only for a brief moment. Puzzling. I'm afraid I don't understand the implications, but Irvang might. We should return to Mora. Well, we could try another tree. We could. But I'm not quite to the point of risking my entire existence on blind experimentation. I believe Irvink is still my best hope of returning to a stable state, provided we can convince Mora to help us find him. All right, let's go. Are you attempting the 
mask your horrendous stench by rolling around in ash and dirt? Huh. Only a mortal would believe compounding filth with filth is somehow an improvement. We brought you an apocalypse seed. An apocalypse seed? How did you... I honestly thought you'd wander off and die before the new seedlings took. And you just brought this to me? Why would you do that? I made no pact with you. Hmm. It seemed like it's something you might be interested in. I don't understand. This is some sort of trick, isn't it? Are you even smart enough for tricks? Maybe you really did just bring it to me. Idiot mortal. <laughs> well, it's not like I'm just going to turn it away, but I'm not going to be in debt to a mortal. You could tell us where Master Redvik is. I suppose you demonstrated you aren't completely useless, and you muffled your overpowering stench. Fine. I'll help you to find Master Irving. Irving. Shirodar in the Flea Pit district of Wretched Spire. He was the last mortal to see the Master. Wretched Spire? I'll meet you there. Okay. She's not gonna try growing it? Really? Alright. Wait, please. Just listen. Gilfrick sent you to hunt me, didn't he? Dubious hench ghost, this one is not fooled. Wait. Ah, mercy! This one does not wish to become Gilfrex's ghost slave as well. Just stop for one moment and let me explain. You've been scaring people? He saw me and panicked. He keeps going on about Gilfrex, but I don't know who that is. Perhaps he'll be more cooperative with someone less transparent. Mm -hmm. On the bright side, I seem to be more substantial than we initially thought. Shirodar. Call off your attack, ghost. Shirodar knows when he is caught, but have mercy. No matter the size of this one's death, Gilfrex gets nothing if Shirodar dies. Calm down. We don't know anything about any Gilfrex. You don't? That one, the ghost, she said the same. But Gilfrex has his tricks. His thugs hunt this one like an animal. Shirodar does not know you, so he thought you among them. If you are not with Gilfrex, what do you want with this one? Mora said you might be able to help us find Master Irvik. Or Irvik. Mora? The Daedra who is most rude. And to hear it from her, this one's fragrance would befoul all the corners of oblivion. Never has Shirodar been so insulted. Sorry, Shirodar is too busy fleeing for his life to be of much help. Well, if you weren't, would you cooperate? Oh, if you were to get Gilfrex off Shirodar's tail, that would make you much more agreeable in this one's book. Shirodar is greatly in debt, but what Gilfrex asks for, <clears throat> this one can deliver. Perhaps you can remedy this. Uh, I guess I'll speak to Gilfrex. Gilfrex rules the Flippet district, feeding on desperation and despair. Shirodar suspects he is not so important for a Daedra, but among the dregs of Wretched Spire, he is a king. This one should not linger in the Flippets. He will hide outside. Uh, what does Gilfrex want from you? He is under the impression that this one can retrieve some foul Daedric trinket from a most dangerous place. This one is much more skilled at fleeing and cowering. Unfortunately, Gilfrex will likely kill Shirodar for refusing. Mm -hmm. Let's find this Gilfrex and be done with it. Ah, oh, we have to go all the way through here. Remember we used this, uh, we came through the other day here, somebody came up behind, in front of us, just killed everything for us. Just need more time. Time. I have time. You do not. One day, filth. <laughs> well, mafia boss now. You'll have to Pal. handle Gilfrex yourself, I'm afraid. They don't seem to be aware of me. 
Can't say I mind being beyond the notice of such low-life scum. Or they just are ignoring you. You're not one of my debtors. Yet. But everyone in Wretched Spire needs something and I provide. What can I do for you? Yeah. I need you to forgive Shuridar's debt. Right to the chase. I hate that. I like to watch the needy squirm. Shiradar, for example. Big squirmer. You, not so much, I suppose. Is that why the cat sent you? As muscle? <laughs> Raw deal. You'll never collect. Either way, I'm getting what I'm owed. What, do you, what does Shiradar owe you? The cat promised he could get me a little item called the Slave Choker from False Martyr's Folly. But it was all talk. If I don't have that collar by the time I find the cat, I'll make one out of his tail. Is Shuridar, is Shuridar really worth the debt you're- all the effort you're putting into this? It's not getting me any closer to the slave choker, that's for sure. Fine. I've wrung enough fear out of the cat these last few days to have my fill. It's overpowering the more subtle miseries I savor. His debt is cleared. Now go. I'll let him know. Plus, we've already been there, too. Damn it. Now we can just run on ahead. <laughs> just stay put. My friend is never going to catch up if you keep running on. But that is how Gilfrix catches up to this one too. <laughs> they paid off your debt. Hey. It's you. <laughs> the ghost says everything is all right. Gilfrex no longer wants my tail. Or any other part of me. Is... Is it true? Yeah, I cleared this debt. Gilfrex forgave it? Gilfrex never forgives anything. Or perhaps Master Erwin was right. This one's fortunes can change for the better. Perhaps next time it will even be Shirodar who changes them. Now will you tell us where Master uh, Inervaric is? Well, you see, this one does not know the Master's ever-shifting path, so he cannot say for sure. But he does know that Master Irving planned to visit a new disciple. Or a disciple to be, rather. Hikso, a skeptic of the Master's ways. Where can I find Hikso? This one will mark the place on your map. He is certain you will find the stubborn one and Master Irving there. Unless Irving has already convinced Hikso and they have both moved on. No, no. Shirodar is sure you are meant to cross paths. I hope so. For your sake. Shifting again. Back it goes. That is so, so disorienting. This alignment is still unstable. I can already feel it slipping out of phase. Please, let's find Hikso before my condition worsens. What's causing the change? I, I think I'm responding to the changes you're creating here. It's a miracle we've maintained a connection. <laughs> Take it as a good sign that my synchrosesia is coming closer to alignment, even if it's unstable. Mm -hmm. Where is this next one? Hixo, was it? No need for any hostility. 
Well, that makes the risk of bodily harm moot. What maggot? I'm uh, looking for Master Renvik. Master of lies. Irving says even stone softens when needed. <sighs> Nonsense. Things made strong are strong. Things made weak are weak. Prove the strength of his words. Otherwise, Irving is nothing to me. And so are you. All right, what are you asking? Show me the strong stone that becomes soft. The hard stone that becomes brittle. The weak stone that becomes strong. Show me that you and Irving are worth hearing. Then I might answer you. So how am I supposed to do this? You aren't, unless there is truth in Irving's words. If there is proof to be found, you will find it near the Dramora outpost to the west. Now go, die to the strong maggots. I'm sure Master Irving was speaking of volcanic rocks with this analogy. There must be geological activity nearby that would prove his point. See if you can gather stones that are as Hickso described. Hmm, all right. sending us all over the dead lands here. Diamond, all right. It's gonna be the hard one, right? Oh, wait, there's one up there. Porous basalt. Oh. Yeah. And glass, okay. Yo. Maggot, you return. I have the stones, uh, Irvix asked Bogov. Hmm. It is as Irving said strong becomes weak, weak becomes strong. Change is inevitable. These stones prove the strength of his words. I did not understand him. Now, I do. Well, will you tell me where I can find him now? Irving awaits you to the south. Grow, maggot, into something strong. Sure thing. I'm really glad your mood improved before this happened. Right, south we go. Banken? Hello? Uh, who's speaking? Wait. Master Irving? Is that you? You don't hear anything. Not what I expected, but then nothing about this journey has been thus far. The Bankins and Master Irving's voice come so clearly, but I don't understand. He's telling me he can't correct my alignment with this realm. So what will you do? I, I don't know. 
I'm stretched so thin. Just holding on to some semblance of reality all this time has been exhausting. I don't think I can go on fighting like this much longer. So you're gonna give up? If a master of the Eleventh Force can't fix this, what hope do I have? I can barely think straight anymore. If you have any brilliant ideas, I'm open to suggestions. I want to talk to the Master Irving here. I understand you. My words fall on deaf ears, but my thoughts find an open mind. I can send them far and wide, but when I am close to one who desires understanding, I will be heard. Can all bank can do this? So, a complex course along the path of change can be a longer journey than most are willing or able to make. You yourself, mortal, are bound by the length of your life and must plot your course accordingly. Uh, can you help Valshrin? How could she do that? The bat is born to fly, but still must learn to glide upon the wing. She cannot force the sky to carry her where she desires. She must learn to follow the wings of change before she can guide her course. All right, I get it. Not what I expected. So you're going to do? You're going to give up? If a master of the Eleventh Force can't fix this. What hope do I have? I can barely think straight anymore. If you have any brilliant ideas, I'm open to suggestions. Stop looking to someone to fix your problems and get a hold of yourself. Come on. Yes, you're right. I'm a psychic. I know myself better than anyone. If anyone is going to pull myself together, it should be me. I am the master of myself. Well, it's too much. I can't keep fighting it. I have to let go. I feel it. Pulling. Pushing. But I can flow with it. I can align with it. You with us now? Ah, at last. I'm whole again. I can't begin to describe how unpleasant it is to be strewn across the cosmos. I think my sense of touch was underwater half the time. Well, and my teeth feel like I've been sleeping with my mouth open. Will you stay, stay whole this time? Yes. I understand how to keep this realm's chaos from pulling me apart now. I'll be fine, thanks to your efforts as my proxy. If I had to be out of phase with reality, I'm glad you were there to help me. Please, accept this with all my gratitude. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, it's not so easy to let go of control when your entire existence is in jeopardy. <laughs> then I think you have a great deal to learn about the mortal condition. I can share the finer details later. of change, you have learned the most important lesson. I hope you continue to follow its course, learn its ways, and come back to teach me something new. 
Why'd you become the master? Only the the scissors called it the eleventh force. This was quite the learning experience. Not what I had in mind when I embarked on this journey, but informative nonetheless. I do look forward to some less hands-on exploration of the Eleventh Force for <sighs> What do you do now? I'd like to travel with Master Irving for a bit, if he'll allow it. Despite appearances, I think he'll make an enlightening guide on this journey of mine. So there's still more for you to learn? There's always something more to learn, unless you're a fool. Today I merely learned how to keep my head above water. Tomorrow, I practice swimming. What do you make a Master Ramphian be a Bankin? Bankin are not thoughtful by nature, nor do Daedra change easily, even in a realm as turbulent as this one. To be so different from others of his kind, it proves just how far he's come on his own journey. He's earned the title of master. Interesting. So a Daedra that sort of has a conscience is like the master of change because he changed his opinion.